What's up, everybody? Just found another gun here. This is the M4A1. It's located in the Flor de Oro province. Uh, just off this little road here in the Armadilla Hunting Lodge. You'll find it behind this little building. Sitting on the ground here. And I haven't actually unlocked this yet, so let's check it out. I'm going to compare it with the ACR. So I'm going to remove my suppressor. And... Check it out here. Here is the M4A1. Pretty uh, standard M4A1. First off, I'm going to put the same scope on it so we get the same accuracy stuff. And here we go. Compared to the ACR, ACR has a bit more damage as well as a bit more accuracy and range. Same handling. Um, the, the M4 has more rate of fire. And more noise reduction. But other than that, they're really similar. So really, the trade-off is some damage and accuracy and range for a bit more rate of fire. I think I'm going to like the ACR better. But let's check this out. We've got... Um, let's check out its fire rate here. Oh, yeah. That's got some good rate of fire. But it's got quite a bit of recoil, honestly. Now, if we compare that to the ACR here, um, the ACR has better first few shots, but then it starts to have actually more recoil. So they're a little bit different in the way they um, way they handle. Let's do a full magazine, and then another full magazine here with the M4. Yeah, I, I like the ACR's recoil a little bit better, but this is still a nice gun. In semi-auto, it's real nice. And I fire my guns in semi-auto anyways, unless I'm getting ambushed. Check out the attachments you can put on this. So, uh, wow, it only has the standard buttstock. That is really weird, considering a lot of guns that use M4A1 stocks in this have multiple stocks. So I'm, I'm shocked the buttstock is limited to the stock buttstock. That's very strange to me. Um, I've got all sorts of different scopes. Same ones that you can get on all of the assault rifles. We've got, oh nice, three different triggers. Well this makes it a little bit cooler. So you've got your full semi-auto trigger, your semi-burst trigger, or your full auto burst trigger. Now if you do a semi-auto burst, you actually gain some accuracy. Um, magazines, you got your 20, 30, and 50 round mags. The under barrels, you got the M203 grenade launcher. Um, it's also got the standard grenade launcher, your FAGs for more accuracy, and your vertical grips for more handling. Um, if you guys didn't know, accuracy in this game is um, the stability, like the, the recoil. And handling is not actually the stability. It's how fast you aim down sights. So keep that in mind. We got the th two different lasers and a range finder. Standard and long barrel. Long barrel lowers your handling, increases your damage and accuracy, as well as your range. And uh, muzzles, we've got the stock muzzle, suppressor, and both compensators. The V2 compensator is real nice if you're not running a suppressor. So overall, a pretty cool gun. Let's check it out with that burst fire mode. Um, check this burst out. Oh, that's a really nice burst. That is a real nice burst there. I enjoy this gun in burst fire. It's real accurate. Doesn't have any attachments on it other than the scope in it. It's quite nice. Those all land in the same spot. That's a good burst. However, I do notice when I try to fire the burst, it's kind of inconsistent. Sometimes I hit the trigger and it doesn't work. That time it was all good. Like there. Oh, I'm out of ammo. That's why. But I was noticing a couple of times it wasn't firing properly. But yeah, again, the location for this is in the Flor de Oro. It's in the southeastern part of the map and in this Armadillo Hunting Lodge here. If you guys want to see other videos on YouTube for gun locations and some of the attachments, we're going to be putting up a ton of those. So check out the other videos and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And check us out live on Twitch 24-7, twitch.tv slash streamerhouse. Thanks, guys.